Are you Theodorus's men? Yes. And who are you? He is the Siwan. I come on his behalf. He'll be joining us shortly with instructions. Good. The soldiers are reeling. But it won't be long before reinforcements arrive. Come. Theodorus! Ready your blades and check your arrows. Theratos will be back at the camp before sunrise. You're with me, but don't forget, he is mine. What is your stake in this? This is more about him than it is about your war. My father grew figs in the Fayum. The best. Theratos taxed him. An Egyptian has no choice but to pay. One season, the harvest was so poor that my father struggled to give his cut. Theratos figured him for a cheat. He took a bite of fruit to prove his point. He got a mouthful of worms. His men laughed, but Theratos was furious. I watched as my father was hanged from his own tree and picked at by every animal in the region. Theratos embodies the unjust. He is why I am who I am. I need you, Baik. Try him! The gods have brought us together for this! Justice will be served today! For Egypt! For your father, Theodorus! Veratos dies today! Leave no one alive! Clear the camp! Remember now, huh? 
May the field breathe to loot you always. has fallen. Finally, my father's car is in peace. Let's move. We have a long trek ahead. Come to Litopolis. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Litopolis. I never forget a face, and I have not seen yours before. You found it. Your new home. A miracle of a man's labor. The great work begins. No, th that's not... You just don't know it yet. We give... Every new arrival, a house. Only dig it out and help with the public works. A fresh start. I'm not here to live in these tough sands. Speak to some of our new inhabitants. Let Nehi. He can tell you how liberating it is to leave the past behind. I cannot shed my past like a snake sheds his skin. <laughs> Welcome, friends. A new life awaits you here in Atopolis, the city of Port. My cat is gone. Can anyone help? Uh, By the gods, what am I to do? Peace, friend. What happened? The gods have cast me. I lost my farm and my wife to my brother in Yamu, and now I've lost what little I owned. My cat got stuck in a ditch far from town. As night came on, I heard terrible roars, and I just left them. My poor oxen, everything I owned. Wh what am I to do? Ross, there are no large beasts in this region. I did not stay to find out. They were the last gift I got from my father, Kufu and Kiera. And I left them there with all I own. When I am out that way, I will see what I can find. For now, do what you can on your new house. M my thanks. My house is to the right of the entrance to the temple. May you fly with the bright wings of Horus.
quiet there. Let's see how the time comes. I think I came looking for you. I fear that he would be dead, and you'd be lying food otherwise. Kufu and Kiera. Today I cry tears of joy. Look how much you have done since I have been gone. I, I found something strange inside the house. It uh, arouses my curiosity and yet terrifies me. W will you look? Show me. As I dug out the main room, I found ominous writings on the wall. Old writings. I have no idea what they say, but it scares me in my bones. These are old, but incomplete. Too much is missing. Erased by time and sand. Do you... Do you think it's a curse? I will ask around town. All right. What should I do? I don't know if I c can sleep here. You will be fine. You should speak to Ramesu. He knows everyone in town and everything that happens here. I'm sure he does. I've seen that dour face before. You've come for your house! No, I... You would clear a house in no time! Enough! At Nehi's house, he showed me strange writings. Nothing to worry you, friend. Three others have said the same thing, but these signs are too old to be made sense of. I will check with them. You are wasting your time, but as you will. <laughs> Yes? What can I help you with? Ramesu said you found strange hieroglyphs in your house. Yes. I thought they were kind of creepy. I think someone else may have found the same thing. May I look? Sure. 
Go on and take a look. I see you dead. Looks like the same style. Perhaps part of the same message. <gasps> May I ask you something? Hmm? Yes, what? Nehi found a strange symbol in his house, like you. May I take a look? Certainly. He's new, yes? He'd be cute if he didn't look like he was always about to cry. Tell him I asked how he was. My name's Nebefa. More of the message. Are you new here? Passing through, but looking into a mystery. Did you find ancient hieroglyphs in your house? Didn't everyone? Didn't worry me much. Why? Does it mean something? Not sure yet. May I look? Don't see why not. Tell me if I should worry. Another part of the message. That's the whole message. It appears to be a prophetic vision. Where is this temple? Thank you. 
Who are you? What are you doing? Stay back or I'll jump. You aren't the first person to try and persuade me. Easy. That is a long way down, even for me. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore. A scorpion took my husband's life. There's nothing left for me now. You could find the scorpion that killed him and kill it. <laughs> Are you mocking me or trying to be cruel? Hey, even bitter laughter is better than death. Hey, why don't you step away from the ledge, huh? We can talk. I don't know what to say. Tell me of your husband. We used to come up here to watch the herons. Two of them built a nest together in that tree. We watched them bring fish for their young. We dreamed of our own children. And you are sad because you did not have any. You're not very good at this, Magi. You're not making me feel any better. There is no way to make you feel better. There is only tomorrow. And then the next day. One moment at a time. What you say is true. I just don't think I can face it. I want to show you something. I will return soon. Hey, try not to jump. There were some herons nearby, down by that tree. Got what I need. I should give the feather to the girl. Careful, it's steep. Now you are worrying about heights? I've got something for you. This is for you. A heron feather? Why? It is a C1 ritual. Feathers mean a lot to us. Anubis will weigh all our hearts when we die against Ma'at's white feather. Yours, mine, our loved ones. I know what you're doing. This feather is for my afterlife. Your husband will meet you in the field of reeds when it is time. But it is not a place to rush to. He would want you to live now and be happy. Yes, you're right. He would. I should thank you for this gift. You can thank me by showing me the way down. All right, Magi, you win. This way. I'm sorry. I must seem childish to you. Ah, believe me. No. I understand your grief. That's why you knew what to say, isn't it? Did you lose someone too? Many have lost loved ones to the Dolomies. Does it get better? It gets better, but you will never be the same. Yes, I already know that. What is your name? I am Tua'a. I am not from here. I come from Crocodilopolis. I am Bayek, from Siwa. What are you doing in Soknopayo Nessos? You're from Siwa? I can tell. You're so nice. Your people are kind. I didn't want to waste my life sewing and weaving for my father. Then, I met my husband and we eloped. We didn't have much, but we were happy here. You could return to your family. They will miss you. You could be happy again. I can't go back to sewing carpets. Besides, my father will never look me in the face again. Few fathers would turn away the child they thought they had lost. Leopards! Bayek! Stay back. 
No, but that was terrifying. Death isn't so desirable when you really see it. I guess I do want to live. <laughs> now she wants to live. <laughs> hey, that is good. But we should move before hyenas come for the carcasses. Could you take me to the docks? You have decided where to go then? I'll find that scorpion that killed my husband. <laughs> now I think I know what to do. I'll head south, maybe even back to Kropodilopolis. I've always wanted to work at the theater. This place has too many memories for me. Do not forget your family. Your father will miss you, whatever you think. Thank you, Bayek. I will keep this feather and weigh it against my heart. Go do your hero work. Be safe, Dua'a. Oh, mighty Thank Anubis, you. dark pupil of the sun who judges all. What news do you bring? The torches burn with a relentless flame. Then I pray Anubis will grant us pardon. There were charms left beside each one. Does that mean anything to you? Beside the torches? Most likely to ward off the omen. I will keep my eyes open. In the meantime, some rebels nearby need treatment. I normally make the trips, but I am needed here. Sufia has offered to go in my place, but only if you escort her. It will be done. Bayek, I hope this hunt of yours ends soon, before you cannot return from what you have become. Whoa, <laughs>
Good to see you, Namrut. Nefertari sent reinforcements, I see. His name is Bayek, a dear friend of Nefertari's. I've asked him to come along and he graciously accepted. I suppose we all do. I hear you are in some trouble. I owe a favor to Nefertari. If it's as you say, follow me and stay close. We've got quite a journey ahead. The path to the mine was clear, but that doesn't mean it will be on the way back. Be ready for anything. Seem uneasy, Namrut. Why the hesitance? I don't like straying from the plan. These lands are teeming with dangers. Bandits, soldiers, the wild. It's why we make the trips at night. Helps avoid travel. Where are you camped? In an abandoned fort to the west. Our point of retreat. Retreat from what? An attack on a nearby encampment. There were more soldiers than we thought. Lost a lot of good men. How many wounded? Enough. That's why being close to the mine is so important. The healers work wonders. We are lucky Nefertari allows these deals. She has a pure heart, risks her neck. The mine belongs to the regime after all. I will set up. Bayek, follow Namrut. He will show you what to do. These men, move them to the rear by the kilns. Cold. This way, we will I line them so up. Cold. It will be easier for Sufia. Your band is much smaller than I imagined. Small, but united. We fight for one another. I am merely one of them, spared by the gods this time. Their wounds are severe, but they'll live if Sufia is anything like Nefertari. You and Nefertari are old friends. Something like that. She saved my life after I killed Rujek. You are the one that killed Rujek, huh? I cannot believe it. By the gods, the brazier! The fire will alert the regime! Spread out! They have found us! Now! Rebels! Move in! Leave man alive! Archers! Ready your arrows! Kill the wounded last! Look out! Protect the people! It is useless to fight! You are outmatched! Lay down your weapons! And we will make it quick! Lay down your weapons, and we will make it quick! 
I would rather stick my sword down your throat. Those who oppose Ptolemy's reign die. Those who fight me die. This one fights alongside these rebels. Why would she draw the soldiers to us? I will go check on the others. Go do something about Sufi. No! Stay away from me! Talk! The omens! It was you! Why? Rukjak, I loved him! He promised me a better life! You from me! Now I see. You're Rujek's mistress. Well, your fucking lover killed my son! I feel nothing for you! You are meant to die! Ah! <laughs> what a shame. Such a pretty girl. There's no room for pretty in our war. Death drives us to do things we regret. She tricked us both. Your men? The pile of dead gets bigger. We will treat the survivors. No time to fetch another healer. Your past follows you, Bayek. My gods, are you mad?
Continua
this is the shining city of Cyrene. Let's see how Romans have brought so-called civilization to the Greeks here. Dark skin, light step, brooding. You must be the C1 Felix raved about. It takes a lot to impress that one. You must be good. But let's not do awkward introductions. I prefer to get straight to business. And your reputation precedes you. If you've come to bleed for gain and glory, Siren welcomes you with open arms. Get many Egyptians in Cyrene. You'll get no judgment from the mouse, but you did stick out. The mouse? An odd title, my friend. Yes, yes, I am the mouse, because I can access the more hard-to-find trinkets. If you follow me to my shop, I'll show you. Our bows, blades, scepters... You won't be disappointed. The mouse guarantees it. Sir... Bayek. All right. Let's see what you have, Mouse. Don't you have trouble with the Romans? Well, you know what they say about our Latin friends? That the Mouse Greeks is always sneaking season, around here. And the Romans he are sold dead women. No <laughs> Said it would make Quintus fall madly in Besides, love. I know how to stay hidden, Sir Bayek. With the way I look, I have to. No, he won't even speak People to think the Mouse is unlucky. They don't see I am an entrepreneur and savior of the waves and strays. Roman swine must have taken my chest to the barracks. Please, will you recover it? And why would I do that? Because you know what it's like to be brushed aside, victimized by those who hold themselves above you. The mouse will die on the streets with no living to support him. And what of the children? Will no one think of the children? And I could probably spare a fine reward for my savior. I would not want the children on my conscience. Gods bless you, Sir Bayek. I will wait for you in the market behind the baths. Good luck, my friend. A Poplimito saved me from the Romans the other day. They caught me pissing in a temple pool. He's funny, look. <gasps> Thank you. 
Saved my life for a second time, Sir Bayek. I am blessed, blessed by the gods who brought you to me on this, the greatest of days. The mouse will embrace you as a sign of my undying gratitude. Ah, uh, please don't. Then money, I will shower you with riches to make Chris's jealous. Take care of yourself, mouse. Try not to get caught in any more traps, eh? Ah, such grace, such wit. You deserve more than mere money. Come see me again later. I will find you something special for my stash. <laughs> 